Hello students, this is the second video on contract costing, whereas the first video covering the short questions which I have already published, I will share the link of that video in the i button as well as in the description box as well as in the pin comment please do watch that video to understand better and this is the second video wherein i will be covering the long questions along with the contract account format and rules followed in calculation of profit in the first video also these concepts were covered but there i have taken only short questions now i will take up the long question how to solve the long questions let's uh, start this video so this is the format of contract account debit side all expenses on the credit side you will find work in progress closing value of the plant material in hand material return to store material destroyed or lost so these items will be furnished on the credit side whereas once we calculate the notional profit notional profit will be transferred to profit and loss account based on the completion of the contract that we will be discussing very immediately after this slide so then resultant figure will be transferred to work in progress reserves right that is balancing figure this is the precise format of preparation of contract account now when you come to the rules followed in calculation of profit we have to more concentrate on completion of the contract. Suppose the contract is completed 25% above and below 50%. The formula of calculation of profit is notional profit into 1 by 3 into cash received by work certified. Whereas if the contract is completed 50% and above. In such a case, the formula notional profit into 2 by 3 into cash received by work certified. What is the difference between these two formulas? Only in first case, we are taking 1 by 3. In the second case, we are taking 2 by 3 of the notional profit. I hope you understood this concept. I have already explained in the first video event. So let's take up the long question. So this is the first question. In this question, we have provided, uh, we have to prepare the contract account. We have given the information, material, wages, direct charges, then 2 lakh have been received from the contractee being 80% of the work certified calculation of profit to be credited to profit and loss account. Then uncertified work in progress 10,000 total value of the contract that is contract price is 4 lakhs. This is the information we have provided based on this information we have to prepare the contract account. So when you come to the answer, first we have to draw the format of contract account. Once we have drawn the format of contract account, we have to write the information in the contract account. So first we have given two material. Material is the expenditure. Therefore, it is written on the debit side 80,000. Wages 70,000. Direct charges 50,000. Next is working notes. What is this working notes? Working note is first one is calculation of work certified. How to calculate the work certified? In this question, we have provided the information stating that 2 lakhs have been received from the contractee being 80% of the work certified. In the sense, whatever 2 lakhs cash which we have received representing 80% of the work certified. How much is the work certified? That we need to calculate. So when 80% is 2 lakhs, 100% that is work certified will be how much? Why we require work certified? Because it will be credited in the contract account. So work certified is equals to 2 lakhs into 100 divided by 80. That is cross multiplication. If you do, you will get work certified is 2 lakh 50,000. Generally, bear in mind, you will not be given in the question work certified. You need to calculate the work certified. So once you calculate this work certified, it will be written as work in progress under that work certified is 250 work uncertified is 10000 which is already given in the question collectively it comes to 260000 is the total work in progress and further we have not provided any other information then once you close this account credit side is more 260000 both the side we have written and what is the balancing figure we are getting 60000 this 60000 is called as notional profit and this is called as carry down value once we get notional profit carry down it will be brought forward so by notional profit brought down is 60000 once this is done what we have to do we need to calculate the completion of the contract this is working note number 2 how to calculate completion of contract the formula is work certified divided by contract value or price total value of the contract will be taken as denominator and numerator will be taken as work certified 
So work certified already we are aware 250,000 and contract value is already given in the question that is total contract value or contract price is 4 lakhs. Then once we apply this formula we are getting 62.5% in the sense out of the total 4 lakhs we have already completed the work of 250,000 therefore we have done with the work of 62.5%. So it is more than 50% when it is more than 50% what is the formula of calculation of profit profit is equals to notional profit into 2 by 3 into cash received by work certified. Then apply the formula notional profit we have calculated 60,000 into 2 by 3 into cash received is 2 lakhs divided by work certified is 2 lakh 50,000. Therefore 32,000 is the profit that we have transferred to profit and loss account. Therefore what we will be writing on the debit side of the contract to profit and loss account 32,000. And once we close this account we are getting the balancing figure 28,000 that will be transferred to work in progress reserve account. So in this manner, you have to prepare the long problem. Clear? I'll take up two more, sorry, three questions. I will take up four questions I'm covering here. So three more questions I will take up and different types of questions you can easily understand. This will be a very significant to prepare for the exams. So we'll take up the next question. Contract undertaken construction work at a contract price of six lakhs. In the sense, total value of the contract is six lakhs began the execution of the works on 1st January 1979. The following are the particulars of the contract up to 31st December 1979. Material, material purchase, labor, indirect expenses, planned material, return to store, material lost by fire, material at site that is closing material, planned closing plant we have given cash received on account up to 31st December amounted to 224 being 80% of the work certified same way we need to calculate work certified the remaining 20% kept as retained until the completion the work finished but not certified uncertified work is 40,000 prepare the contract account and state the proportionate profit the contractor would justify taking into credit of the PNL account that we will calculate based on the completion of the contract then also prepare contract account very simple account you can easily understand so i have again taken the question to write the values here the same procedure we have to prepare the contract account very simple just start writing down the expenses to material issued from store 4000 to material purchase 1 lakh 20000 to labor at site 1 lakh to indirect expenses 36000 then plant opening value have taken 1 lakh 40000 then material return to store we have given 8000 that is credit side that is closing material by material loss by fire that is loss for the organization 2000 and by material at site the disclosing material at site 4000 by plant at site we have given 120000 please bear in mind whenever we have given opening value of the plant and closing value of the plant you can take opening on the debit side closing on the credit side otherwise you can do one thing even opening value minus closing value you can take the difference as depreciation of plant in this case, you can take 1,40,000 minus 1,20,000, 20,000 as depreciation even you can take. Then we don't require to take opening and closing value. Only difference we can take on the debit side. And one more thing you bear in mind, material lost by fire. You can say, sir, it is an expense. No, that should be written on the debit side of the contract. No, it will not be the expense for this particular contract. For overall, it may be expense or a loss for the organization. But for this particular contract, this material has not been used. Therefore, it will be credited. Whenever the contractor is preparing his complete profit and loss account, there he can take this expense. Please don't get confused. Material lost by fire will be credited here. Come to the working notes. Working notes is calculation of work certified. 80% is 2,24,000 given in the question. 100% is how much that is work certified. When we calculate work certified, we are getting 2,24 into 100 by 80. That is cross multiplication. 2,80,000 is work certified. So by working progress under that work certified, we write 2,80,000. Once it is done, we have already given the information of work uncertified. That is how much? 40,000. Once this is calculated, next working note is, sorry, before that next working note, we will close this account. We will get the notional profit of 52,000. 54,000 sorry 
Notional profit 54,000 carried down. Then notional profit 54,000 same amount will be brought down. Once we calculate this notional profit, the next item is to find out the completion of the contract. How much percentage the contract has been completed? The formula is work certified by contract value or price. Work certified we calculated just now 280,000 and contract price is already given in the question that is 6 lakhs into 100. So how much contract has been completed? Only 37.33% completed. Therefore it is less than 50%. So what is the formula of profit? Profit is equals to notional profit into 1 by 3 into cash received by work certified. So we are replacing 2 by 3 with 1 by 3. Right. So once you apply this formula, 54,000 is the notional profit into 1 by 3 into 2,24,000 is the cash received by 2,80,000 is work certified is equals to 14,400 is the profit that we have to transfer to profit and loss account. Therefore, we write to PNL account 14,400. Once we close this account, balancing figure 39,600 goes to work in progress reserve account. So this is the precise way of preparation of the contract account. I hope I have given the clarity how to prepare the contract account. And besides, in this question, we are asked to prepare contract e account event. Contract e account is very simple. Whenever the contractor is receiving the cash, what is the entry? Cash or bank account data to whom, from whom we are from whom the contractor is receiving? That is contract e. So cash account data or bank account data to contract e account the entry so that ledger posting in contract e account we write by bank how much 224000 being cash received then it will be closed to balance carried on by balance brought down with 224000 whenever you are asked to prepare contract e account it is quite simple you write down the cash received by bank then close the account carried down and brought down right so this is the simple way of preparation of contract account as well as contract account. We'll take up one more question. This question you have already provided all the information. Material, material purchase, installed plant, installed at site, establishment charges, material returns, wages, wages accrued, that is outstanding wages, direct expenses, indirect expenses, material transfer to another account. From this account, this contract site to another site we have transferred. So it will be taken on the credit side of the contract account. Material ha on hand, closing material, depreciation on plant. Here we are asked to calculate depreciation. We have not been provided closing value of plant. Directly we calculate depreciation and debit the contract account. Contract price we have given work certified, work uncertified, cash received from the contract. Every information is given. Very simple question. You can easily get marks if this kind of a question you find. Simple procedure, prepare the contract account, just write down the values to material, material purchased, depreciation on plant. Here we have not provided opening and closing value. We have provided only opening value and we are asked to calculate 20% depreciation. Therefore, 50,000 is the opening value into 20%, the depreciation amount I am taking 10,000. Then to establishment charges, then by material return to store, then to wages paid, wages accrued that is outstanding or you can write wages paid in the inner column add wages outstanding together you can write in the outer column 160 or individually even that will create the same sense then direct expenses direct ex indirect expenses then material transfer to another account from this account to another account see bear in mind parallelly simultaneously the contractor may have multiple contracts so he can transfer material from one, one contract to another contract. In that case, if the contractor is transferring material from this contract side to another, that will be credited. It will be deducted. So the amount is 30,000. Next, material on hand, closing material. Then once it is done, we have already provided work in progress item that is work certified, 5 lakhs, work uncertified, 50,000. Therefore, we need not to calculate work certified in this question directly he has given in the question itself once it is done close the account balancing figure 40,000 is called as notional profit carried down then by notional profit brought down 40,000 then we will come to the working notes we need to see completion of the contract how much contract has been completed work certified be contract price 
work certified is 5 lakhs contract price is 10 lakhs in 200 that is exactly 50 percent of the work has been completed whenever 50 percent and above what is the formula np into 2 by 3 into cr by wc is the formula apply the formula you are getting the answer 21333 this amount goes to pnl account 21333 and close the account balancing figure 18,667 that goes to work in progress reserve. This is the way we need to calculate the answer. We need to prepare the contract account and we can easily get the answer. The fourth question and the last question then I will give you some exercise problems even. Again the same information is available instead of reading the question we will proceed for the answer. Same contract account expenses debited wages material plant at site that is opening plant we have given and closing plant also we have given indirect exp direct expenses paid then closing value of the plant is 10,000 then we need to calculate work in progress sorry we need not to calculate work in progress that work certified is already given in the question uncertified is also given in the question collectively 2,3300 once it is done then other information wages outstanding even in direct expenses outstanding we have given establishment charges then material on hand closing material once it is done we have to close this contract account balancing figure is 18,000 called as to notional profit carried on by notional profit brought down 18,000 then come to working note completion of the contract work certified by contract price work certified is 337 divided by 6 lakhs 3,37,500 divided by 6 lakhs in 200 is equals to 56.25%. So more than 50%, the formula is NP into 2 by 3 into CR by WC. Once we apply this formula, that is 80,000 into 2 by 3 into CR by WC, that is 1,80,000 divided by 2 lakh, we are getting 10,800 as profit. So to PNL account, 10,800. Then close this account, you will get the balancing for 7200 that is work in progress reserve. So this is the way we need to calculate the answer. So I hope I have given clear and crystal picture of these four problems which are very significant as far as the university is concerned. All the universities in Telangana, in Maharashtra, in any state you take. This is the maximum difficulty of the contract costing problem. Once you go through this video and solve the problem, you can easily answer any university problems, right? Of cost accounting, contract costing. So this question, you take it as homework. Try to solve this problem. This is one question, fifth question. This try to solve this problem. And I will show the answer in the third video. And this is also second, uh, sixth question. Very easy. You try to figure it out the answer. If you don't get the answer, I will down the line in couple of days. I will post the third video. In that video, I will provide all these answers. Right? Fifth, sixth and seventh question. This question even. These are the little bit long questions. Not difficult, but long questions. You can easily do the problem. Right? So this is a precise way precise way i have tried to explain the contract costing long problem which is very very important topic as far as the cost accounting of all the universities across india right so i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me please uh, the education is quite significant for the students i am putting my best efforts to give you quality education quality content and make you prepare better for the exams so your subscription your likes your sharing will also have a lot of impact on the motivation of the faculty so please do motivate us to make more qualitative content thank you very much